Hey folks, that fix a guy here, and I'm going to show you three ways to fix a slow running toilet. So come along, let's get to fixing. Number one, you want to pull off the tank lid, you want to get access to your fill valve. This works on Fluid Master fill valves, okay? Your fill valve looks like this, this is going to work for you. Come down to your shutoff valve, shut that off. Make sure that this shuts off for anything we're fixing to do. You want to make sure this valve works. You're going to remove this cover. Should just pop right off. Now, this piece right here is going to rotate. You rotate it counterclockwise and then it just pops out. So now you have access to the top of this and we're able to flush it. So now what you wanna do is you wanna take either your hand and hold it over here in a cupping motion, or you wanna take a glass. And for this occasion, I'm actually going to put a glass over this. That way you can see what I'm doing. You come down to the shutoff valve and slowly open it, right? And as you're doing this, you're going to get water going in there. Turn it on, blow out the debris, put it back together, and it should work like a charm. That's number one. So number two is to come down, shut your water off, and you wanna remove the supply line from your toilet. You wanna grab a bucket, something big, right? If I zoom out here, you can tell it's kinda of large. Put that underneath there so it catches the water. When this gets taken apart, hold it down in the bucket and slowly turn on the water. Blow out any debris, put it back together and try it out. And number three is come down, shut the water off, Grab a bucket or a sponge or something to catch water. You want to take the supply line off again. So now what you want to do is you want to grab a flathead screwdriver. You want to stick it up in the bottom of this and just kind of, there is a rubber piece in there and you don't want to like bend too much this way, but you want to kind of wedge it against the side and kind of pull it down. This is probably one of the easiest things I've found to get this out. Right, and it'll start coming down just a little bit. You just gotta, you can feel it up in there. Yeah, I feel it getting, it's getting, it's getting down there just a little bit more. It's just an awkward angle to do with this on. It's almost there. See? You see this thing starting to pop out of there. And then what you want to do is just grab it and pull it down. And you pull this out. Now let me tell you, so if you left this piece out, you're actually going to get the whole like whatever water pressure your house is at, whatever PSI, you're going to get the whole force. Personal opinion, you don't want to do that. You could get some serious water hammer. It's a little bit too nuts. But what I do like to do is take this out, make sure there's no debris that was clogging this, right? Because something could get stuck around in that area. Once you see this is clear, everything else should be clear. You can put it back in 
It just pushes right back up in place. And I'll do another video at some point with one of these that are out and just show you how to do this and how easy it is. It really is very easy. And then it just pops back up in place. You can hook this up, put this together, turn this back on, and give this bad boy a plug. That's pretty good flow. Okay, folks, so using any one of these fixes or the combination of all three, honestly, are going to help you to clear stuff out of your line and get your toilet back up and running faster. One of the million things I love about Fluid Master fill valves, all right? These things are so bomber that almost every manufacturer is putting that product in their toilet these days. These guys have changed the game a little bit. We've talked about these before. At some point, I have a box out in the garage that has one in it. I plan on tearing it apart. I'll do a, a whole breakdown of the whole thing and I'll show you all the little intricacies of it, if you will, all right? I really hope you guys enjoyed the video. I hope the video helps. If you could please subscribe to the channel, click the like button. We'd love to have you keep coming back. We're just trying to help people. We hope we're doing that. Thank you very much and we'll see you again real soon.